Welcome to another first half of Sports Night on Late Edition. Well, the countdown is on. It's just 74 days until cars will be racing up the hill at the spring edition of the Weatherly Hill Climb. WYLN has worked with the Hill Climb, televising it for the past few years, and we are proud to bring it to you once again. And while organizers of the event prepare for June, they are also thinking of those less fortunate and proved it today. It's loud engines, it's fast cars, it's the Weatherly Hill Climb. The event is scheduled for June 8th and 9th with a parade the night before, and it draws thousands to the quiet town of Weatherly, Pennsylvania. And while the Weatherly Hill Climb Association plans the racing events once in the spring and again in the fall, they say that's not what it's all about. For example, for each hill climb, a new shirt is made representing the event. After the weekend comes and goes, there are usually some left over. So what exactly will they do with all the clothes? Well, we had uh, quite a few t-shirts and sweatshirts left over from last few years, and uh, we didn't know what to do with them, so I got in touch with United Charities, and they said they'd be happy to take them, and they'd use them in the area. United Charities operates strictly on donations, so everything that we can get is greatly appreciated. It'll go towards um, families for our material assistance and, um, you know, families in need of, of clothing from our clothing bank. It's a great donation. We, we appreciate it as an agency. But the donations aren't the only thing the Hill Climb Association helps with. This time of year, I'm knocking on doors and asking people for help. And uh, I'll tell you, people are really generous. We raise about 20 grand a year in our program, which we hand out free at all our events. And uh, we're able to, to make enough money, pay our bills, and then usually at the end of the year, we try to kick a little bit back into the community. Like we're the main sponsor for the Cancer Relay Group in Weatherly. And uh, we do a lot of different things with the school. And uh, like right now, this is the first time we've done anything with United Charities. But uh, this past Christmas, we gave 200 coloring books and crayons themed after the Weatherly Hill Climb to the kids in school. So, I mean, we're, we're pretty well involved. I mean, I don't like when people ask me all the time for help because really we're, we're a nonprofit group ourselves. But when we can help out, we do it. When it was beat Cyber also said that the Weatherly Hill Climb Association will be beginning to clean up the location in Weatherly where the hill climb is held as soon as the weather breaks. I know I can't wait until June rolls around and the hill climb is here. Moving to AAA baseball, Hazleton area standout Russ Kanzler has been moved to a different roster once again. Before the Orioles took the field yesterday in spring training, they made a few changes to their lineup. One included optioning outfielder Kanzler to AAA Norfolk. Kanzler also played a bit of first base for Baltimore and hit for an average of 265 in 23 games with the O's. The home opener for the Norfolk Tides, only nine days away, set for April 4th. And sticking with AAA, the Iron Pigs are introducing what they're calling the first urinal gaming system anywhere. I am not kidding about this, people. It will allow men to operate a hands-free game controller while standing before urinals. They are being placed in all men's rooms at Coca-Cola Park. <laughs> Pigs GM Kurt Landis says he's he sure. They will make a big splash. The game is being built as a way to raise awareness among men for prostate health. Joe Garbotic's laughing and I can't help it. Sometimes it's just not fair. You guys get to have all the fun. More players moving to Major League Baseball's desert, or, uh, disabled list. Find out who coming up in the second half of sports. Stick around. Lisa's back next with your top story recap.